The upcoming Ahsoka Star Wars series is definitely my most anticipated show of 2023. It's set to premiere in the fall of this year, and it's going to supposedly follow Ahsoka and Sabine on their quest to find Ezra Bridger, who we know is with Thrawn in the Unknown Regions. What they're doing, if they're still together, working together, enemies at this point, who really knows? That's what we're gonna find out. But there's been rumors going around of how will Ezra be fighting exactly? How powerful will he be? Because, in case you don't remember, Ezra actually gave his lightsaber to Sabine in the final episode of Rebels before he took off with Thrawn. So he does not have his lightsaber with him, making us wonder how exactly is he going to fight? Because there's going to be situations that come up and he's going to obviously need to fight, otherwise wouldn't be the most fun series. But new rumors suggest Ezra will be using a various set of martial arts, including some Street Fighter influenced Hadouken moves. This, These rumors come from MakingStarWars.com, and they are very rarely wrong. They're really good at their rumors. I wouldn't say leaks. It's not like we're getting a huge plot here or anything. But yeah, that's going to be super interesting. As for what Sabine and Ahsoka are doing, apparently Sabine might also be learning to utilize Ezra's lightsaber, and this can be inferred in a few for a few reasons. One, we saw her using the Darksaber in the series Star Wars Rebels, where she trained with Ezra and Kanan to use the Darksaber, and now she has Ezra's lightsaber. But back to Ezra, I think he's going to be such an interesting character, and I think it's extremely hard to predict exactly where his story is going to go. We know he's with Thrawn, we know he's a very capable Force user, and they tapped into some dark side aspects of the whole thing in Rebels, where he was kind of unbalanced, he was trained in kind of a way that wasn't, I don't let's say traditional. And now we get to see him with Thrawn. He's been spending time with Thrawn, away from all of his friends, away from Kanan. So how powerful could he be? Could he fall down a darker path? Could he perhaps try to be someone that learns a gray Jedi type of way? Or even a dark Jedi type of way where it's he understands the Jedi of old fell apart and he just doesn't want to embrace the no attachments and the no emotions type stuff so i'm really excited for what ezra is going to bring and how powerful he's going to be the street fighter influenced moves with there being a rumored hadouken type move could be extremely powerful in the force and yeah i'm super super anticipating this ahsoka series and i know many of you are well, are as well so i'll ask you what are you most looking forward to in the Ahsoka series? What's one thing you want to see? One question you want to see resolved? I just, I'm super excited for it. It's in Dave Filoni's hands, live action with the characters he created. I don't know how it can go wrong. I think it's going to be a masterpiece. I've been wrong before on that, but hey, it's in Dave's hands. I'm really, really looking forward to this series. Other than that, I will ask you kindly to please consider subscribing. This is a newer Star Wars channel, and I'm having a lot of fun making daily videos, daily shorts, fan fictions, you name it. And if you subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like. It only helps me out. That would be great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if not, well, good to see you. Glad you made it this far of the video. Anyways, Ezra, Sabine, Ahsoka, Thrawn. It's four characters that are I mean, we're all looking forward to seeing them after they or their animated or just series debuts in Rebels, which was a while ago now. And this Ahsoka series has been rumored for a long time. Production, filming, it's all seemed to go great. Dave Filoni said it was basically a religious experience watching and producing and creating his first episodes. So, here we go. Ahsoka, we've seen her in live action. In Rebels, we may see her again this season of Mandalorian. Yeah, let me know. You looking forward to it? Because I know I for sure am. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, and help me grow this daily Star Wars community. And I'll see you in the next video.